Welcome to the jungle. I mean, my first grade classroom in Lansing, Kansas. Do you see these cute orangutans? I mean, first graders. They have researched, learned about, and symbolically adopted with their own hard-earned money these two baby orangutans because sadly this animal is an endangered species. So they would like to teach you all about this adorable animal. Enjoy the presentation. Orangutans won't be found in Kansas. They won't be found anywhere in the United States or even North America. Orangutans live on the islands of Borneo and in Sumatra, which is in Southeast Asia. The Southeast Asian islands of Borneo and Sumatra are located on the equator. This is home to some of the world's most diverse rainforests and the Southeast Asian black and black forests. Borneo is the world's third largest island, covered in areas slightly larger than Texas. Sumatra is the world's sixth largest island. The island's tropical climate and different regions have created ha habitat that for thousands of animals and the last remaining Sumatran tigers, orangutans, Borneo elephants, and Sumatran rhinos. Body covered with orange fur except face, eyes, and toes. Hands have five fingers. Five toes gloves like a hand. No tail. It means there are so few left. They may be gone forever, like dinosaurs. The ring teeth is the world's largest organ mammal. Do you know what that means? It means animals that live most of their lives in trees. They love to be in all the way in a living tree house. Every night they go to sickness from branches and leaves. They even add a leaf to keep out the rain. Can you believe a ring teeth's arms are so long? that stretched out from one to another is seven to eight feet. Orangutans are very smart. They, they, they can use tools and solve problems. They can make 14, 15 cents. And here is another video we wanted to share of them. This is them making their nests. Okay, and moving on. They can make for fifteen cents. And now we're going to show you another quick video. The differences between the males and the females. Male orangutans are solitary animals. They seem to spend 90% of their time alone. The females stay with their offspring. This one has a new baby. 
Her older child must learn to fend for itself now. The males take no part in their upbringing. Every day from now on, this young orangutan will have to build a nest for him to sleep in, and he's not going to eat. Orangutans have become increasingly rare in Borneo and Sumatra. It's believed there are only 20,000 of them left. Should this youngster live his full 35 years or so, will there be enough forest left for him? Okay, and now carrying on. A little louder, please. Orangutans are omnivores. They eat both plants and meat. Fruit makes up over half of their diet. A predator is an animal which hunts other animals. The orangutan hunts only insects and eggs. The orangutan is plant. Is Orangutans are plant eaters or herbivores. They eat fruit, bark, leaves, and flowers. They especially love wild figs. Then a quick video. Come back to the presentation. For hundreds of years, Arendtin who shot and trapped many females were killed so that their baby could be taken and sold to zoos. The shooting and selling is no longer a big problem. Arendtins are endangered animals. They could disappear forever. This is because their habitat is being destroyed. As human population grows in Southeast Asia, there is a need for more farms and villages. Rainforest is being cut and burned. And now a quick video to illustrate what the children were sharing. Here is a baby. Which is very sweet, born into a zoo. But sadly, this is what Elias was sharing. This baby was found on a palm tree plantation. All alone on a palm tree oil plantation after her mom died. She didn't have any teeth and she was just found crying. Orangutans are critically endangered. They've lost more than half their habitat to the palm oil industry over the past 20 years. But Poppy's getting stronger every day. And when she's big enough, she'll be wild again. So that's what they were talking about there. And then here is a video to illustrate what they were sharing about their habitat loss due to the palm oil situation. A hectare of trees produces 190,000 liters of water a year. People sometimes call rainforest the lungs of our planet. This baby orangutan has lost his mum because of deforestation. We have to stop this madness. It is not fair on the animals and plants. Smarter rainforest is a rainforest with which has trees up to 60 meters high, which is the same as six double duck decker buses on the top of each other. So, Sumatra rainforest has endangered animals such as Sumatra tigers, elephants, and... Oops, I'm not sure what happened there. Pardon me. I'm so sorry. Rainforests are important to us because they carry 50% of us biodiversity. A hectare of trees produces 190,000 liters of water. I believe it's repeating, so I do apologize. And then we wanted to share this one with you to teach you what we've learned about this. There's a good chance that you use palm oil every day without even knowing about it. 
It's an ingredient in products as diverse as shampoo, toothpaste, chocolate, and detergent, and even sometimes used in the fuel in our cars. It's virtually everywhere. But some palm oil has a dirty secret, forest destruction. Indonesia's rainforests are being cleared to make way for palm oil plantations. Indonesia is a treasure chest of biodiversity. It is home to up to 15% of all known species of plants, mammals, and birds. But their homes are disappearing, with as few as 400 Sumatran tigers left in the wild. The lives of millions of Indonesians who depend on the forests are also changing beyond recognition. From land conflicts, to forest fires, and displacement. And that's not to mention the impact forest destruction has on our climate. Indonesia's peatlands are vast, storing about 35 billion tons of carbon. When they're drained, burned, and replaced by plantations, the conditions are set for devastating forest fires and stored carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. So that's what we risk if forests are destroyed. But how does this affect you? Palm oil plantations sell their palm oil fruit to traders. From there, it's sold to huge corporations that make products we find on our supermarket shelves. This is how dirty palm oil is laundered through global markets. But tiger and forest friendly palm oil is possible. The world's biggest trader has already committed to sustainable palm oil. And other big brands are following suit by cleaning up their supply chains. You have the power to make it happen. Remember those household brands you used? Well, it's time they made a commitment to be tiger and forest friendly. Join the movement to protect paradise. And back to our presentation. Oops, much louder, Nolan. If we don't act, the, the wild red ape may only survive the national park of Sumatra and Bongo. Please help us save this amazing primate. We can all agree that baby orangutans are adorable. You may even literal one as a pet. Well, some people actually pay a lot of money to have a pet orangutan. It's against the law, but people still do it. The babies are snatched from their mother 